launch the installation program. The installation wizard then guides you step-by-step -step through the installation. Once the installation process is complete, quit the installation program and launch Melodyne. Now you will see the activation procedure for the boxed version of Melodyne. Since the software has not yet been activated, you will see a message to this effect and the activation assistant will open. The activation assistant begins by displaying a form so that you can enter your serial number. You will find this on the first page of your printed user manual. Enter the number and click Continue. The activation assistant will then check to see whether the computer is connected to the Internet and will try to contact the Celimony server. If no Internet connection is available, you will be offered the option of continuing the activation offline. The procedure for doing this is described later in this tour. If you are connected to the Internet and click on Continue, the Activation Assistant will display this page. If you already have a MyCelimony account, enter your username and password to log in, whereupon Melodyne will be activated automatically, and you can close the Activation Assistant and begin working with Melodyne right away. If you do not yet have a MyCelimony account, and we are showing this case now, click the Create MyCelimony Account button. Enter the requisite information along with a username and a password. When you have finished filling in the form, click on Continue Activation and your account will be created. Congratulations! You now have a MyCelimony account and the server should already have activated your new edition of Melodyne. If requested, enter your administrator password to consent to the activation being stored on your hard disk. Once this has been done, you can close the activation assistant and start using Melodyne at once. The second activation scenario applies if you have installed Melodyne as a download. Let's assume you already installed your downloaded Melodyne as outlined in the installation section above and now launch it for the first time. Since you created a MyCelimony account when you purchased Melodyne and received a personalized installation program at that time, your serial number has already been registered and the activation assistant informed. You don't need to type it in. Just click the Continue button in the activation assistant to download an activation from your account and enter your administrator password if requested to do so in order to consent to the activation being stored on your hard disk. That's all there is to it. Melodyne is now activated and ready for use. If your computer is not connected to the Internet, please follow the procedure for offline activation described later in this video. Now you know how to activate Melodyne via the Internet. Hit pause in your video player if you need more time to read this. Let's assume you want to transfer an activation of Melodyne from one computer to another. Select License from Melodyne's Help menu to open the status page of the Activation Assistant. As long as you are using the computer by computer activation system and have not switched to the iLock system, you will see an option allowing you to deactivate your computer. Deactivate means in this context transferring the activation of your computer back to your MyCelimony account so you can use it on another computer. You can do this simply by clicking the button. The result is that you are no longer able to run Melodyne on the computer affected but one activation is credited to your MyCelimony account. You can always later, if you wish, reactivate Melodyne on a computer you have previously deactivated. Always assuming you are connected to the Internet and your MyCelimony account contains a spare activation, just click the button Request Activation Again that appears in the window of the Activation Assistant after the deactivation. When you do so, an activation will be transferred from your MyCelimony account to your computer, and you can use Melodyne once more on the computer concerned. If your computer has no access to the Internet, 
you can perform the activation or deactivation offline, as described in the following section. Now, let's talk about transferring your Melodyne license to an iLock. Start Melodyne and choose License from the Help menu. Along with the information that Melodyne is activated, you see two buttons offering different options. The deactivation of your computer and transfer of the activation to an iLock account. As already explained, this does not apply to Melodyne Essential Artists, which does not support iLock. If you wish to activate Melodyne Editor or Melodyne Assistant by iLock, click the Transfer License to an iLock Account button. In your browser, a page of your My Celimony account will be displayed containing further information permitting you to transfer your activation to your iLock account. If your music computer has no access to the Internet, you can transfer the activation to your iLock using any other computer with access to your My Celimony account. To spare yourself and our support team time, please make sure you enter the correct name of your iLock account, or the activation could be sent to the wrong iLock account or end up in digital nirvana. What is required is the user ID you use to log in at www.ilock.com, not the name of your iLock dongle. Once the activation has been transferred to your iLock account, you must log in at www.ilock.com and download the activation to your iLock dongle. Thereafter, just insert this in one of the USB ports of the computer you wish to use. If you use your Melodyne license on an iLock, you are no longer entitled to claim computer-by-computer -computer activations from My Celimony. Instead, you will be able to activate and run Melodyne on any computer you like, provided the iLock dongle is connected to one of its USB ports at the time. The second part of our tour was about the transfer of licenses between computers. You also learned about the transfer of a Melodyne license to an iLock. Again, Hit pause in your video player if you need more time with the summaries. Even if the computer you use for music has no access to the Internet, you can still perform all the same tasks as those described above, but by following a slightly different procedure. Here we are showing the procedure for activating a Melodyne license on a computer. The principle is simple. When the activation assistant can find no internet connection, it provides you with the data the server requires in the form of an HTML file. This file is stored on your hard disk. You just need to transfer it using some portable storage medium such as an USB flash drive to a computer that is connected to the internet. Then double click on the HTML file and your browser will connect to the My Celimony server and upload the data. In return, you receive a file from the server. This is only the case if you activate or reactivate a computer. For the deactivation of a license, no file is downloaded because the license is kept on your My Celimony account for future activation. In our case, the activation of a license, the downloaded file, is called melodynex.license, with the X standing for the respective Melodyne product. This you must transfer back to your music computer and load. To load the license file for the activation or deactivation that you receive from the My Celimony server and complete the procedure, you must start Melodyne once again. Since Melodyne is not activated, the license dialog will launch automatically. Now follow again the procedure for activation. Since no internet connection is present, the licensor will display the same dialog as before, only this time, instead of creating a request file, which you have already done, select Load Activation File. Now, using the File Selection dialog, navigate to the license file you received from the My Celimony server and load it. This completes the activation process, and Melodyne is ready to use.